Hi everyone, Bible Reads here. Welcome back to a new video on Demon Souls. In the last video, we slain the Tower Knight very easily, and I left a message right there. You know, for new players, they might need it. Oh, they shouldn't be wearing the footsteps, more of the giant ass shield they had. So we're going to turn to the Nexus. There's nothing we can do here now. <clears throat> so, and I realised that this. There was some stuff that I'd like to do with Nexus first before we continue to World 2. Hmm. If it loads. Still, I'm pretty sure Bloodborne's on the screen is much worse than this. What's the worst load of screens ever? Sonic 06 is loading screens. Okay, finally, we're here. Alright, if we go back here, and there's these two people, and what does this say? Oh, you must be another disciple of God. I too am on a quest to fight the demons in the name of the Lord. May I share God's power with you? Do not be bashful. We are both cut from the same cloth. Yeah, this guy will teach you miracles, the heal miracle, antidote which cures you from stuff. Evacuate if you don't have enough sorcery at high soul. Wanted to buy stuff from him quite yet. I see. I. What do you I have seen? I swore Oh, wait. And that... Yeah, he doesn't study when you think. That's why he didn't come here. Okay. Oh, look! Remember this guy? He's back. We have a trap ahead. At its peak. Boletaria was a grand kingdom. The king, his knights, and his subjects were modest and plain, but also steadfast and compassionate. In the distant southern kingdom, Boletaria was known as paradise on earth. But look at what has become of us now. I refuse to believe that this is what Father wished for our great land. Yeah, so Ostrava is the prince of this land. In Ontario, we speak of the legend of the two swords and the last hero. The two swords are demon brand and soul brand. One sword banishes that which befouls man, and the other banishes man himself. The last hero is old King Doran. King Doran is the everlasting one, founder of Boletaria and protector of the two swords. <laughs> Of course, only according to legend. But in the dark state of our land, legends are all we can depend upon. Hmm. So we're getting a bit of... Oh no. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a bit of lore now from Ostrava about... Mainly about the Boletarian Palace, please. King Alant led Boletaria with a round table of brave knights. The royal twin fangs, Balafax and Bjorn. Alfred, the knight of the tower. Metas, the knight of the lance, and the brave tribesman Longbow Ulin and his fearsome legions. But today, Boletaria is an abysmal mess. Valifax was lost, and Bjor slipped through the fissure, never to be heard from again. All the rest, along with Boletaria, have been devoured by the fog, and will soon be prey to the demons. The Boletarian knights are no longer. But perhaps our age will see the rise of new heroes, such as yourself. See, so, yeah, you mentioned like, some knights of Boletaria, and we actually fought two of them. Um, the one with the bow and um, Alfred. Now, is it Ulis? I can't remember that name actually, I forgot. Yeah. But perhaps our age. Yeah, he was just repeat that now, but you know, like, we. The Tower Knight's real name is actually Alfred. <laughs> Yeah, I know. He got he, by the power of Demon Souls, he got transformed into a Tower Knight. But now let's talk to one last. Per Actually, no. We're still gonna talk to Maiden Black first. Still, let's talk to this guy. Are you here to face the demons? If so, please free Sage Freight the Visionary from the Dungeon of Latria. I will help you however I can. I can teach you elementary spells. Sage Freak is a gleaming hope for humankind, but I have not the power to save him alone. This house sells you spells, flame toss, enchant weapon. That might be nice. 
High level spell strengthens right hand weapon. Use of catalyst equipped in left hand. Demon's prank. Yeah. Generates this loud sound in a far off place. It has little direct effect, so its caster must think creatively to make effect of this. Hmm. Enchant weapon might be nice. There you go now. Now remember spell, this is how we equip spells. And now we have a chance weapon soul arrow. Be careful. Normally it would not be granted to one such as yourself. I had to make an exception for the sake of Sage Freight. Now then, let's do some swapping real quick. Um, let's put the catalyst here and the talisman here. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, enchant weapon doesn't work on the fletchin. Oh, damn it. Okay, maybe waste my souls there. Speaking of souls. Now, hero soul. Unknown hero soul. So one last thing before we level up, we're going to speak to this guy. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scouts came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here, in the Nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to your brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. It's good idea to deposit. I no, I pressed the wrong button. Yeah, this, you can deposit your items to this guy, which is I really helpful. Deposit items. We're going to deposit. We don't need this. We don't need those. Those. Wouldn't catch this? No way. No. I might keep the bow and the bastard sword. Rest assured, best of all. How much do you need for the bastard sword again? Actually, do I even want to see it? No. I mean. Oh, what's happening? Check his stats again at four. Oh, wait. You go, we need 18 strength. I can't believe we've got that. It is 11, not bad. But the question is, do I want to use it? I have to get some protection, but. Let's get some endurance. Get a bit of strength where we go on there. Dexterity. Uh, yeah, magic. Let's get a bit more strength. Intelligence. Faith. A bit more endurance. There we go. Can't look up anymore. Now, finally, we can go to the next world. Touch the Arch Zone to the Bow Kingdom. The Stone Fang Tunnel. And let's do this. This base can be quite long, but since we have the Crescent Fletchin, it shouldn't take that long. And also, so Patrick's the Hyena, we're going to see him in this world too. Well, maybe not in this um, one level, but next episode probably. If I can fight the boss next ep in this episode. I feel like the world and demon souls get progressively smaller as you go on. Like the first world you in the world, the first arch that you go to in the first world is always the longest, and when it gets shorter, the world as you go on. This is a crystal lizard. You want to kill bees for some good upgrading items? Don't you dare! Oh! He died. I can't get his items. I 
think you get a chance to kill those things three times before they're permanently gone. What do you sell? <laughs> you know. So. Uh, Merge or something, have anything interesting to say? A pickaxe. No, thank you. You don't want to play, will you? I'm already playing Demon Souls correctly with an overpowered weapon this early on in the game. A strange world. Um, first world volatile patterns is the only world where you need an archdemon soul to progress. Um, none of the other worlds do that. Pretty strange, if you ask me. Well, anyways. Do this. Well, my memory serves correctly. This might be the longest level in the whole game, actually. I might think about it. Oh, um, just. I think it was maybe two, actually. Oh! Look, the enemy. Now, we saw one of these guys now with the Tower Knight. These are the fat officials. They can be pretty powerful. They have uh, fire spells. Ooh. I don't like these guys. But they do give me full moon grass. Which is very nice. Crushing battle axe. It's extremely weaker than this. I feel kind of dirty using this now. I'm not getting a chance to use the other weapons. So we've been 12 minutes, we've barely done anything. This. Oh! Stone of Infamable Eyes! Okay, so you know in Dark Souls and one where it's like you go okay, in Dark Souls one is a mechanical humanity, right? Where there's two stages in Dark Souls one, there's a hollow form and then there's a, a human form. The only way to get back to human form is by using humanity. And that item we just picked up is basically like the humanity of this game where if you're in um, souls form you can use that and you get back to body form, which is pretty nice. And so yeah, that's the mechanic of that. Let's continue on. Ow! I underestimated. Excuse me. Oh, we've got pickaxe anyway. Lovely. An extremely weak pickaxe. Well, guess I can show you what chance does. Boom. Am I gonna do the whole game with just this pickaxe? It was upgrading materials. Like in in this game, like in the Soul series, you get materials you can use to upgrade your weapons. I might have mentioned this before actually. Other dogs as well. And a chance of weapon is lasting quite a bit, isn't it? Oh, uh oh, retreat, retreat. Oh no, didn't mean to. Actually, hold on. Because your axe is a bit stronger than that. Why am I not using the Fletcher? That'll be much more better. These guys can be predictable, you know, with their attacks. 
Hmm, not bad. Shot of clear stone. I might not even use miracles in this playthrough. It might just be might just be magic I'll use. So what are we doing? Whoa! Even like someone saw that earlier in the ambush. Get this. Go back to Fletcher. Another pickaxe, lovely. Oh, this way it looks like. Mm. Yep, it is, buddy. Would it be safe if I jump down there? Maybe not. Oh, wait. That's officials. Run all the way here. Oh, I can't make it. And the guy's still trying to attack me. In this game, like these poor things are just working as hard as they can. I'm just coming by and killing them. Okay, well, that, I had a reason to kill this guy who tried to attack me first. <laughs> totally not because he wants to avenge his friends. No, I'm not a dick. Dark Souls is one of those type of games where they make you feel like you're a dick on purpose, like, especially with um, the boss fights, like, um, Dark Souls 1, like, Atorvius and Sif. And also, moments this game, like, Made in the Stryer. Oh, I might have spoiled the boss in World 5. Yeah, I'll show you about this try later on. No, a lot of people who are playing Demon Souls really hate World 5, but to this review, the world I hate the most is definitely World 3. God, that place. Well, I'll show you why later on. Um, hold up. Aha! Almost missed that. I'm trying to speed run it to the boss. God damn it, Demon Souls, making there so much stuff to explore. Bug wall. It's okay. No, it must not be taken to a boss. Oh, these things, these salamanders are on fire. And they will, they do hurt. But I can instant kill them. Just shard of meltstone. <laughs> okay. Anything in here? No? Okay. Hi. Oh, 
Grove, the post the message. Pop in the grass. I keep trying to see. You are your enemy ambush. These things are weak to fire, actually. I know, not by magic. Okay, let's just finish them off. Oh, 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 no, no dying. Oh, you idiot. Just fully killed yourself. Now you can safely kill yourself. Oh my god! Your spear is really, really useful against these things. There's this really great spear called the Wing Spear. And I actually use that thing for the whole game once I got it. Mm, died to Salamanders, I know that. I'm shard of Dragonstone. Totally not a disappointment. Totally worth it as well. We'll go there later. I feel like I'm pretty tired. I am definitely quick and obvious at this point. Just my excuse for like more commentary. I have not died yet. Well, I've died two times, but still, that's pretty good. If I tried, I could like do a no death run if I really wanted to. I have to admit, Demon Souls, once you know what to do, can be a really easy game, sadly. You know what? The Dark Souls games are really easy, but some games I've played, I only have Demon Souls and the two Dark Souls, Dark Souls 1 and 2. I haven't played Bloodborne and I haven't played 3. To be honest with you, Dark Souls 2 is a piece of shit. I don't like it. Do I want to go down? Mr. Shortcut, by the way. Should I go down there? Might as well sh show it off. Jesus Christ, the character model is ugly. Just look at it, it's so blurry. Is it going down an elevator? No. Oh, this is a blacksmith. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen you around these parts. <sighs> what does it matter? You need a blacksmith, show me some crime. If not, head straight for the door. Oh. oh, you can upgrade your weapons and you can upgrade your present fetch. <coughs> present fetch gen to two. It does have a charge of dark moon, but you can actually downgrade it to a fletch which I'll never do. This is the upgrade stuff. Just some repairs to fetch and uh, blacksmiths. It's like only two blacksmiths in the game, I think Edwin and Baldwin. And the difference is that. You know, one of them is in the Nexus, as we saw, but the other Nexus cannot upgrade, you know, fused weapons. Only that guy can. I think, that guy will... I think this guy is Edwin, and the guy in the Nexus is Baldwin. If we're quick enough, we might have time to fight the boss in this area. And it can be pretty long. I like, can tend to drag out a bit this next boss, but we'll see. Block crescent. Yes. I've got to kill you guys. Let's solve this problem. But all the enemies here are pretty harmless for the most part. The most deadly one has to be the fat official for sure. Oh, of course, I had to open my mouth, didn't I? Yeah, okay. there can be a lot of ambushes in these little tunnels. I'm doing it for this. That gives you four souls. Still gonna do it for souls. Like I gave you three! Now give me more souls! There we go. Not much. That's not much more. That's 
Oh, God, so inefficient. It's so stupid, it's ridiculous. Oh! Sorry, this seems familiar. Oh! Retreat! No! Retreat! How does this guy really get hurt? <laughs> wow! Friendly fire much! Retreat! Let's go the other way. We want to run across here. Aha! Unknown soul. Great club. Unknown soul. Message. Someday. Ooh, 64. It's got spikes on it though. It's pretty cool. Here we go. So on we go. I'm not a good speedrunner. You still don't already know that if you watch my Dead Space 2 speedrun, which I still despise. The video like my Dead Space 2 speedrun like cut out like halfway through it. Like I'm recording all my videos on the scrawny little tablet which has limited battery power. But I was gonna blow up then. Hopefully not. Ooh, it makes sense for gun pass to brought by slash of sword. Physics on red barrel. Yeah, the cliche red barrel physics are kind of weird. Like, oh, yeah, there's a red barrel. Shoot it with a bullet. That would surely blow something up. Oh, uh, it's a staple now in the shooters. Steel shield. We'll find an item pass here. I'm the best! Memory serves correctly, but there's not much left of this to go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Want to decrypt equip this? There are salamanders coming up. Yep, salamanders. I missed. Please kill it. Kill it. We want to kill all of these first, because if we don't, then. Yeah, we'll have a bad time, really. Oh! Salamander! Oh, dog! You cheeky little! Whoa! Ouch! That's not fair. Now that's fair. Dog Souls is not a fair game, it's too hard. No, you scrub, this game's easy. You're bad at games. I'm going there, it looks like.
Oh no! We need to do that. I don't like it like useful items, like every time you pick a useful item, they'll always go to the next empty slot in your inventory. Okay? All I was supposed to do is like in this game there's like weapon durability and what is this how durability or break? But that Ed grind stuff, like we failed your weapons durability. Oh, no, we won't be have time to fight the boss, won't we? Um, uh, watch this cutscene from the end of R. I still, I really wanted to fight like every boss in one episode, or like one boss in one episode. But no, this level will beg to differ. Next on Demon Souls, we'll fight the boss. See you next time. Bye.